Spring framework has continued to bloom in the market. Spring community is continuously coming up with new things and have spread into a vast ecosystem. Today, it holds the top position in the framework market. Well, the answer is, because it provides a comprehensive programming and configuration model for modern Java-based enterprise applications. It is not concerned with the deployment platform used. A key element of Spring Framework is infrastructural support at the application level. It's very much unlikely to go out of the market in the near future with more major releases announced. In this video, I list top 20 Spring interview questions with answers with proper examples. To start Spring interview questions and answers session, I request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press bell icon to get real-time updates of interview questions and answers which is helping to prepare the interview. What is a Spring Framework? Point 1. Spring is a powerful open source, application framework created to reduce the complexity of enterprise application development. Point 2. It is light-weighted and loosely coupled. Point 3. It has layered architecture, which allows you to select the components to use, while also providing a cohesive framework for J2E application development. Point 4. Spring Framework is also called the Framework of Frameworks as it provides support to various other frameworks such as Struts, Hibernate, Tapestry, EJB, JSF etc. List the advantages of Spring Framework. First is, because of Spring Framework's layered architecture, you can use what you need and leave what you don't. Second is, Spring Framework enables Pojo, plain old Java object, programming which in turn enables continuous integration and testability. Third is, JDBC is simplified due to dependency injection and inversion of control. It is open source and has no vendor lock-in. What are the different features of Spring Framework? Following are some of the major features of Spring Framework. Feature 1, Lightweight. Spring is lightweight when it comes to size and transparency. Feature 2, Inversion of Control. The objects give their dependencies instead of creating or looking for dependent objects. This is called inversion of control. Feature 3, Aspect-Oriented Programming. Aspect-Oriented Programming in Spring supports cohesive development by separating application business logic from system services. Feature 4, Container. Spring Framework creates and manages the life cycle and configuration of the application objects. Feature 5, MVC Framework. Spring Framework's MVC Web Application Framework is highly configurable. Other frameworks can also be used easily instead of Spring MVC Framework. Feature 6, Transaction Management, Generic Abstraction Layer for Transaction Management is provided by the Spring Framework. Spring's transaction support can be also used in container-less environments. Feature 7, JDBC Exception Handling, the JDBC Abstraction Layer of the Spring offers an exception hierarchy which simplifies the error handling strategy. What is a Spring Configuration File? A Spring Configuration File is an XML file. This file mainly contains the class's information. It describes how those classes are configured as well as introduced to each other. The XML configuration files, however, are verbose and more clean. If it's not planned and written correctly, it becomes very difficult to manage in big projects. What are the different components of a Spring application? A Spring application, generally consists of following components. Component 1, Interface, it defines the functions. Component 2, Bean class, it contains properties, its setter and getter methods, functions etc. Component 3, Spring Aspect Oriented Programming, provides the functionality of cross-cutting concerns. Component 4, Bean Configuration File, contains the information of classes and how to configure them. Component 5, User Program, it uses the function. What are the various ways of using Spring Framework? Spring Framework can be used in various ways. They are listed as follows. First is, as a full-fledged Spring Web Application. Second is, as a third-party web framework, using Spring Framework's middle tier. For remote usage. Third is, as Enterprise Java Bean which can wrap existing POJOs, plain old Java objects. And fourth is, the next section of Spring Interview Questions is on Dependency Injection and IOC Container.
What is Spring IOC Container? At the core of the spring framework, lies the spring container. The container creates the object, wires them together, configures them and manages their complete life cycle. The spring container makes use of dependency injection to manage the components that make up an application. The container receives instructions for which objects to instantiate, configure, and assemble by reading the configuration metadata provided. This metadata can be provided either by XML, Java annotations or Java code. What do you mean by dependency injection? In dependency injection, you do not have to create your objects but have to describe how they should be created. You don't connect your components and services together in the code directly, but describe which services are needed by which components in the configuration file. The IOC container will wire them up together. In how many ways can dependency injection be done? In general, dependency injection can be done in three ways, namely. First is, constructor injection, second is, setter injection, third is, interface injection. In Spring Framework, only constructor and setter injections are used. How many types of IOC containers are there in Spring? Bean Factory. Bean Factory is like a factory class that contains a collection of beans. It instantiates the bean whenever asked for by clients. Application Context The application context interface is built on top of the Bean Factory interface. It provides some extra functionality on top of Bean Factory. List some of the benefits of IOC. Some of the benefits of IOC are First is, it will minimize the amount of code in your application. Second is, it will make your application easy to test because it doesn't require any singletons or JNDI lookup mechanisms in your unit test cases. Third is, it promotes loose coupling with minimal effort and least intrusive mechanism. Fourth is, it supports eager instantiation and lazy loading of the services. Explain Spring Beans. They are the objects that form the backbone of the user's application. Beans are managed by the Spring IOC container. They are instantiated, configured, wired and managed by a Spring IOC container. Beans are created with the configuration metadata that the users supply to the container. How many bend scopes are supported by Spring? The Spring framework supports five scopes. They are First is, Singleton. This provides scope for the bean definition to single instance per Spring IOC container. Second is, Prototype. This provides scope for a single bean definition to have any number of object instances. Third is, Request. This provides scope for a bean definition to an HTTP request. Fourth is, Session. This provides scope for a bean definition to an HTTP session. Fifth is, Global Session. This provides scope for a bean definition to an global HTTP session. Explain inner bends in Spring. A bean can be declared as an inner bean only when it is used as a property of another bean. For defining a bean, the Spring's XML-based configuration metadata provides the use of bean element inside the property or constructor arg. Inner beans are always anonymous and they are always scoped as prototypes. For example, let's say we have one student class having reference of person class. Here we will be creating only one instance of person class and use it inside student. Define bin wiring. When beans are combined together within the spring container, it's called wiring or bean wiring. The spring container needs to know what beans are needed and how the container should use dependency injection to tie the beans together, while wiring beans. What are the limitations with auto-wiring? Following are some of the limitations you might face with auto-wiring. First is, overriding possibility. You can always specify dependencies using, constructor arg, and, property, settings which will override auto-wiring. Second is, primitive data type. Simple properties such as primitives, strings and classes can't be auto-wired. And third is, confusing nature. Always prefer using explicit wiring because auto-wiring is less precise. Describe Spring DAO support. The Data Access Object DAO, support in Spring makes it easy to work with data access technologies like JDBC, Hibernate or JDO in a consistent way. This allows one to switch between the persistence technologies easily. It also allows you to code without worrying about catching exceptions that are specific to each of these technology. 
Explain Web Application Context The Web Application Context is an extension of the plain application context. It has some extra features that are necessary for web applications. It differs from a normal application context in terms of its capability of resolving themes and in deciding which servlet it is associated with. In Spring MVC framework, what is controller? Controllers provide access to the application behavior. These behaviors are generally defined through a service interface. Controllers interpret the user input and transform it into a model which is represented to the user by the view. In Spring, controller is implemented in a very abstract way. It also enables you to create a wide variety of controllers. What do you mean by Spring MVC Framework? The Spring Web MVC Framework provides model view controller architecture and ready-to-use components that are used to develop flexible and loosely coupled web applications. The MVC pattern helps in separating the different aspects of the application like input logic, business logic and UI logic, while providing a loose coupling between all these elements.